It's the magic of math here, and today we're finding distance on a number line. Here's our question today. Which of the following expressions represents the distance in units between the two points plotted on the number line? Here are your two points plotted on the number line, and you have four answer choices. So I'm gonna ask you to pause the video now and show your best work on your paper, pick your answer choice, then come back and hit play to check your work. Welcome back. So again, we're finding distance between these two plotted points on the number line. And then I'm looking at my answer choices and I can see that I have some absolute value signs here. So when we talk about absolute value, it's the positive distance the number inside is from zero. So the absolute value of any number is always positive. So the absolute value of negative four is four. The absolute value of three would be three. It's the positive distance. And that's kind of a redundant statement because when we talk about distance, distance is always positive. Distance is never negative. So if you think about your distance that you live at, from home to school, let's say it's five miles. When you're at home, you could say you're five miles away from school. When you get to school, you're still five miles away from home. You never say I'm negative five miles away from home because you're at school versus at home. Distance is always positive. So we know that whatever we do here is gonna be positive. So let's look at our number line. We're starting at negative four because that's the first plotted point. And then our next one is three, two, three, four. So this is three. And we wanna find the distance between. So you could just count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know the distance between them in units is seven. However, our answer choices are numerical expressions. They're not numerical values. They're equivalent to a numerical value. So now we have to come back to our number line and use it to write a numerical expression. So when we say absolute value is the distance from zero, let's mark zero on our number line. And we can see here that we're going from negative four to zero. So we want it, don't want it to be negative. So we're gonna say absolute value of negative four, add the other part, zero to three, is just three, right? It's already positive. But when we look at our answer choices, they all start with three. Well, addition is commutative, meaning the order in which I add does not matter. So let's rewrite our numerical expression so that three is on the left, adding our absolute value of negative four. Now let's go back and check our answer choices and we can see that it corresponds to answer B. And if we check our work, three plus the absolute value of negative four, well, the absolute value of negative four is positive four. Three plus four is seven, which was the distance that we found by counting. So there you have it. Representing the distance of these two plotted points is answer choice B. Three add the absolute value of negative four and that is how you find distance on a number line. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.